Hey guys, welcome back to ResTube. I'm Danny Riggs, and today we have another unboxing to do. And that unboxing is of one of the most recent releases by Secret Records. But before we really get into this bad boy, let's find out a little bit about the release. Released November 13th, 2020, this album is entitled Who Do You Love? B-Sides and Rarities. While Cherry Red was digging through the archive tapes from the Cryptic Corporation, they found four completely unknown Snakefinger recordings. These demos are estimated to be from 1978 to 82, when the residents were performing and producing his studio work. Instead of just releasing them as a 7-inch, we decided to pair them with other essential Snakefinger tunes that never appeared on one of his LPs. One side collects the newly discovered demos along with a couple of live tracks that were planned to be recorded for a new studio album before Snakefinger passed away. The other side collects all the B-sides, non-album studio recordings from Ralph Records. Original artwork by Stephen Summers, who did our Residence t-shirt a while back and spends most of his time working on video games and creating monsters for the gaming world. So, now that we know all that, Let's get into this box. Okay, so before I actually really take this out, let's take a little look at this box. Because this box is a so-called whiplash box, and Secret Records have been using them now for quite some time, and I applaud them for that. Okay, so without further ado, Let's take a look at what's actually in here. Let's see one copy of the release right here and the other right here. And I do like the way that Secret Records ship these. That is, the record itself is not inside the sleeve, which supposedly helps to prevent the spine of the sleeve jacket being damaged, and I just think is a very good idea. And here we have the cover of the release. That's a beautiful, beautiful rendition of Snake Finger. And as you can see there at the top, we got smoke coming out of the skull on Snake Finger's head and a nice smoky like font that spells out his name and a couple of eyeballs to each side of him gazing. And while we're looking at the sleeve, here's the back cover. And as you can see down here, it is hand numbered. This being number 143 of 150. And the edition that was limited to 150 is in two different colors. That is, the vinyl is mixed in two different colors, being baby pink and Grimace Purple. Now, I even asked Vincent Presley of Secret Records about that Grimace because for me, as an 80s kid from America, when I hear Grimace, I think of the big purple friend of Ronald McDonald. But apparently that's not the case. It has nothing to do with that character. It's really just a name for the color that people that work with colors use. So look that up if you don't believe me. And here it is. Here's one side. And as you can see there on the bottom, it's got a little bit of a white, brighter touch to it. And that side has much more of that baby pink incorporated into it. I think this is a very, very cool mix of colors. In general, I do like the colors that Secret Records always picks out to use for their vinyl color releases. Here in the middle, you can see those eyeballs again. And on the other side, you can see a reflection of my wife, who is filming camera two. Everybody say hi, Jules. Hi, Jules. <laughs> and once again, you can see that smoky snake finger lettering. And of course, this one has the exact same sleeve, so we don't have to look at that or anything, but we should take a look at the release itself. And this one is not numbered. I think that's where the number should really be. This edition is limited to 350 and very fitting to the Grimace Purple and the Baby Pink we just saw. The other edition of this is in Neon Purple. I don't think this will photograph all too well, but it's pretty translucent, as in it's a bit transparent, not exactly see-through, 
but it's not really as solid purple as it's photographing right now. And one more thing that we should take a look at before we end this segment is the side of the sleeve, as in that says snake finger. Who do you love right there? And down here we have the same smoky writing that says SR27. This being the 27th release by Secret Records. These are cool. These are very, very nice looking. These will go along very, very well with the Secret Records releases of Snake Finger that I already have. Being live in Melbourne in 1981, I'm sure somewhere further on down the line we'll also get to some other of the Secret Records releases, some of which are there, others of which are in the office, and a few of which are in the hall. But you don't have to understand all of that. Okay, guys. Well, thanks a lot for tuning in. Thanks a lot to the folks at Secret Records for bringing out another beautiful release. And so, if you like this video, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. You can find me on Instagram, on Facebook, and on Twitter. And so, tune in next time for another episode of Res2. You guys stay healthy and stay weird. Bye-bye. I'm so in my head right now. And I am feeling very clumsy today for some reason. But you like French toast. It's always a good start. I see no correlation whatsoever. And as, all, as always, and cut. Released. While Cherry Red was digging through the archive. Man. We decided to pair them with other essential. Oh. I'm reading this off my phone in reality. And cut.